The first image I saw last night, I, as you can see, I was getting sleepy pretty early, um, was a vision of a syringe cap. Then I did not write anything or have anything to write or remember anything until I guess it was 11.39 p.m., I um, got this image of a hermit crab cage, a swarm of flies inside. So kind of the way it went was I did have dreams or something that I didn't remember, but I must have um, slept, you know, pretty early. And then I woke up about 1139. Enough that, you know, then when I tried to go back to sleep, I went into a lighter sleep state and I could remember these images. Um, and so it's somewhere in between here, this journal fell, I guess, behind the bed and I couldn't find it. And so I found this one. So what's been happening, you know, and I think it's all been in August. I've been switching back and forth between two journals, basically, which I don't normally do. Every once in a while it happens like that. Okay. Um, 12.15 a.m. Idea of looking for food, like fruit in gardens. I open up the birdhouse on the utility pole outside and look for food inside the birdhouse. So this is interesting, and the reason it is interesting is for two reasons. One is that I dreamt of this disease image a few, I mean, it might have been a week ago. I can't remember exactly. And it was these sort of yellow spots, kind of. And um, shortly after that, I noticed that the spots in my dream looked like the spots on this birdhouse that little lichens or something that are growing on this birdhouse and then I thought about the fact that the birdhouse is nailed to a utility pole I mean no birds are using this thing or have ever used it as far as I can tell but um, it's this weird birdhouse nailed to the utility pole so what's what is it about and what does it symbolize because it's come up in my dreams a couple times could it be like a drop box of some sort or um what's going on. It might be symbolic. And I notice um, disease images sometimes, not the first time I felt like disease images were linked with utility poles. So anyway, um, I went out looking at, at this birdhouse, decided to look at this birdhouse again this morning. So this was at 12.15 this morning, about 7.30. I was out there looking at it when I saw these geese fly over, and the geese also seem to be linked to my dreams. So um, part of what's going on here is it might be sort of getting me thinking about looking at the birdhouse, like what's up with this birdhouse. 12.44 a.m., image of a jet in clouds, dialogue. So I hear, a di you know, I hear the words, the contrails formed behind the jet. <coughs> and then I see an image of a trail, like a jet trail lit up pink. So as if it were sunset. Uh, 1 a.m. Uh, I wrote... What a, oh, tone and left ear, forced breath. So something's going on. And lots of my breathing's been affected a lot lately. It's just not, you know, to a point of distress, but to a point where I'm noticing it. Definitely. The TV is um, on. Okay, so the tone and the breath kind of causes me to wake up a little bit. And the word sleet is emphasized. So the TV's on. The show is my favorite Martian. And for some reason, they say a sentence. And the word sleet seems really important. And I connected in my mind right away with the name Slater Kenny. I don't know. You know, I don't. I want to say I don't know if this is important. But it seems like it is because I think that's why it came to me. Slater Kenny is a road. Or, you know, it's an exit sign you see off the highway near Olympia, and I think it's a road, but obviously it wasn't chosen just because it was a road. Um, it, something with the name. Um, then I get an image of the outhouse moon. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it. 
Um, something I've thought about off and on over the past, especially linked to the situation. Um, then I get an image of a button that says tough money. And two things that make me think of that, and that's, this is like a button that you would pin onto your clothes. Um, first I think of Tough Gong, which I think is a, was a Jamaican record label, I think. Um, then I think of, um, well then there's uh, someone called Young Money or something like that. So that's interesting. And then Tough. T-U-F-F. -F. And so, T-U-turn, finger, finger. What it looks like to me is this is money coming down to continue the game going, 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 going. So it's not just... People aren't just behaving on their own accord. They're being paid, and they have been paid. That's the way it's been going for ages. It's what people are used to. They're paid for their opinions. They're paid for certain behaviors and so forth and so on, including really scary behaviors and corrupt behaviors and criminal behaviors. Okay, then I see... Um, groups of linked rings, um, that actually probably was the last thing that I saw, but I wrote it down first to remember it. Okay. So this is the dream that I was, this is the parts of the dream that I was able to remember. I'm a waitress at this restaurant, also a college student. Um, restaurant had a bar remodeled. Now I come back and another bar is open in it. So it seems that the restaurant originally had a bar. Then it remodeled, and it didn't have a bar. And now I've come back to work one day, and there's another bar opened in it, but the lighting is bad. It's noisy. And um, I wrote later, I could just remember this image of brick walls in the bar. I trim hair. So it's like I'm in the bathroom trimming my own hair, and it gets all over me, but they're black. So I have tiny black hair trimmings all over my neck, and face that are hard to get off and I note that they look like black beard trimming so they actually look like what it looks like is somebody's em emptied an electric razor with black beard trimmings or um, it reminds me of my dad when he used to trim his beard um, when I was young in the bathroom and um, so when he had a dark beard that's what it looks like all you know even though my hair is blonde that's what it looks like when I trim my hair or something like that I'm starting to get red marks on my skin. They're um, just appearing like microwave weapons, quote-unquote rashes. So last year I was getting hit with microwave weapons on my skin a lot, um, face and hands especially, and they would it'd just be like a rash appears in a matter of seconds or minutes. Um, that was pretty awful. Um so that's kind of what's happening. I'm seeing these rashes appear on my skin that are basically microwave attacks. I'm a student, but thinking of dropping classes or dropping out of school for some reason, and I go to HSU, Humboldt State University, I think. At one point, a waitress finds a box of some really fancy drink. It's a type of root beer, I think. So it's really fancy, but it's probably just root beer, non-alcoholic. Okay, so um, I feel that these are partly reminding me of things. These are triggering different kinds of memories, basically. That's what I feel like when I'm reading these. And probably also has coded language. Like, I don't totally yet understand what root beer... I know that root beer is coded somehow. Root beer is important. Um, but it's also something that I used to drink when I was a kid. So stuff like that. And I worked as a waitress, and I went to HSU. 
um, some old memorial, like from the, although I never thought about quitting HSU, it's interesting. There's other times when I had issues. Yes, okay, well, you know, yeah, because after Mike split up with me, I started to have trouble in college. I just started to not be interested in it. Ugh, that was a bad time. Um, anyway, without going off the topic too far, I just want to mostly just read the dreams. Okay, so then at the end of this, I'd see groups of linked rings, which I kind of interpret as, um, what I think they are is rings and rings of, I mean, I don't know. They kind of look like the Audi rings, but then they're looped with loops, like almost like a word search. Um, I think it's people that are involved in this network around me. And so there's little rings that are ring linked to other rings. And that that's how, like in the past, like I'm like, how is it possible that, you know, Ben is linked to... Mike and they're linked to you know Willie and they're linked to uh Riot Girl and Olympia and that's linked to my you know somehow and my dad's even linked into this yes um because my dad's old zines and stuff I mean they were basically zines that he was doing in the it's just yes so there's like rings upon rings upon rings and every ring is linked to other rings that's what I think this means. Some old memorial, like from the early 20th century, commemorating a Donner party and listing the number of remaining survivors. And I think it's like 16 or something like that. Image of an orange syringe cap. And it seems like I see this number as well. Eight eight one six. Um, so the idea is that there's maybe 16 remaining members of this party alive, and I'm thinking it's like 1910 or something like that. There's an old memorial from that era. I don't know if anything like this exists. I don't remember. I mean, I remember a little bit about the Donner Party being a group of pioneers who are coming over the Donner Pass near Tahoe, I think. And um, maybe in the winter it got stuck or something like that and supposedly um, resorted, some of them resorted to um, eating the people who died to stay alive, something like that. One oh eight a.m. No, well, one fifty-eight a.m. I keep hearing. Uh, I'm hearing a series of "I need to know," "I need to know," "I need to know." Um, like there's a whole bunch of something that somebody needs to know or feels they need to know. And the one that the one that's completed is "I need to know if there's going to be enough to eat." Then I, I hear the phrase "the money is still there," and I wake up coughing. Then I see an image of leaves. I think it's like make, maple leaves. Um, and then I see this like, you know, three tiny little triangle. Like it looks to me like a drone in the distance. That's what it looks like. So it almost is like looking up through. It could be cannabis leaves. Because maple leaves and cannabis leaves look a lot alike. It could be. It's kind of like that feeling of. And looking up through the leaves. So like you're under a maple tree. And then you can see a drone in the distance. Idea of clothing, blue mostly and white. Idea of the 1500s, 500 years. Phrase, bong rips. Um, 
earlier, I made the connection between rip, the word rip, and rest in peace. Um, and it's slang for bomb hits. Image of people. Camera pulls out. They're standing next to trucks. So, um, <laughs> this is one of those dreams where there's actually a, uh, like a camera angle. And so at first it's close in and I see, I mean, you know, the camera, there's actually movement as if there's a vantage point is a camera. So the people, and then the camera, you know, zooms out basically. And you see that these people are standing next to trucks. Um, then I say one has some old university logo clothing, or in fact, the clothing is a separate image. So, um, I'm not, uh, you know, I was unclear on whether this piece of university clothing with the university logo was connected to these people standing in front of the trucks or not. Something about blood and inheritance. And I see a blue dot and my breathing is affected. Sense to that dream where I'm a waitress with the hair or beard shavings on my skin is related to surveillance of me. Someone being told not to stop the surveillance but to do it better, to hide it better. Image of cookie, cookies under a chair wrapped in um, chessboard pattern wrapping and dots. So like checkerboard. I don't know what this, uh, this says, what they recorded, something recording for when they recorded it, Beatles. Uh, this is from an earlier dream, I think. I get to go to the studio where old Beatles songs were recorded. I want to hold your hand, etc. I get to visit the studio, microphone, etc. Um, oh, so I get to see the microphone and everything where the Beatles recorded. There is a computer, too. The implication is that the Beatles mixed their album on, a, on this computer or something like that. You know, sort of like this old time studio from the early 60s, but yet there's this computer in there. Sense of a link to me recording videos last summer at Mount Tabor Park, specifically this section near the trails. And so I went and found this, you know, before I wrote in this, you know, these translations. I found that it was, the video was from July 13th, 2018. And I was being um, burnt on the face a lot during that day. And during that period of time. Something covered by something else, disguised, linked to computer in Beatles Studio. And then I see these numbers. I see 17 and 4. I think I see like three hearts stacked. And then I see um, like somebody's face, a profile, but just the jaw. Somebody's, you know, side view, chin, mouth, jaw. So when I saw these geese, okay, so I went out at 7.30 in the morning to look at the geese. Um... I thought that's interesting. I haven't seen the geese in a while. I'm gonna I'm gonna run out of memory. 